Most people in life are looking for how to make a life worth living and a return worth having. What we know about that is it usually involves some significant people in our lives. Sometimes they are people that come from our biological family. Other times they are people that come from a profession or an orientation of ours. But most of the time they come from people that we've networked with, that we've socialized with, that we've met along life's journey. And those are the people that have become the soul strings of our lives. In my life I've written a book and it's called Just That. It's called Soul Keepers, and in my book, Soul Keepers, I talk about the more important relationships of our lives and how they can either help us or harm us or grow us or help us learn things. But here's what's really wise. What's really wise is that when I write something, I'm really listening to God. When I wrote that book, I literally heard that Lord say, write, 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 work, 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 and I did that a lot. But it also impacted the rest of my business because I was so busy working on that authorship, on that script, on those things for that book that I often left time out for nothing else. I was excited, I was passionate, I was doing those things and it's somehow how we can lose life. But writing a work that's about your life and telling people a story that helps them think about their life is a true gift. If you have that ability, please go do that. There's ways to create those books online. There's ways to print them locally in a print shop. There's ways to tell, your, tell and sell your story for you. But don't steal other people's work. Don't copy down their words. Don't say it's yours. Don't claim it's yours. That's actually called plagiarism. It's what most college students learn about, either the easy way or the hard way in life.